Alright, my name is Asad Yaqub and I'm your IELTS speaking examiner. What's your name? Uh, hi, good morning. My name is Sharoz Ahmed, but you can call me Sharoz. Alright, do you work or study? So currently I'm working right now, but honestly I miss being a student. The last time I was a student was I think around four years ago when I finished my graduation in business studies. Uh, I am working with a great company now. The pay is good. The hours are so flexible. Uh, so I'm happy. And to answer your question, yes, I'm working right now. All right. We go on with IELTS speaking part one. Uh, who do you spend most time uh, studying, working with? Okay, so I like sp spending time while studying and working with myself. I trust myself a lot and honestly I feel like I learn a lot when I'm by myself. I love the concept of being alone with yourself and so to answer your question I think I would spend most of my time with myself studying and working. What kind of things do you study or work on with other people? So I'm, since I'm working right now, I'm mainly involved with a lot of people from across the world who work with different technologies across the world. Uh, so that's the subject, that's the core area or subject that I usually work on. Uh, as for the people, the people that I work with are super friendly, they're very cooperative and they have a great sense of humor as well. So I just enjoy working with them a lot. Are there times when you work better by yourself? Uh, I think that's a very human element. Uh, sometimes we do want alone time. So yes, sometimes I do work better by myself. But at the same time, you should keep everything in balance. Uh, and I like spending time with my colleagues and friends as well. So sometimes creativity sparks when I'm with my friends. Sometimes it sparks when I'm alone. Is it important to like the people you work with? It definitely helps with the process. It helps uh, improve the overall environment it definitely helps improve your quality of work but if you don't like the people around you it's okay that's what life is and that's what we're programmed to do but yes to answer your question it's definitely better if you like All the people right. around you. we now move on to IELTS speaking part two sure. uh, this is your topic and you have one minute if you want to jot down some notes you can do that and then you will have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes okay you'll now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes great so uh, the tourist attraction that I visited recently was Dubai and I know it's already very famous but I went there for the safari parks that I'm sure everyone has heard of I've always heard of these safari parks and these great tourist attractions that are water parks as well and you know your desert rides and everything so I visited Dubai uh, for that what did I do there so I'm a great I'm a huge Batman fan so the first thing that I did uh, was I visited the DC and the Marvel Museum I really enjoyed looking at all the characters from my childhood and the fact that I could take pictures with them was a great opportunity because unfortunately we can't have the same opportunity in this country so um, I visited that place because we had summer vacations and I had some time off from my work as well so I decided that this is a great time to sort of uh, accumulate your holidays get some money in the bank and visit the favorite place that you wanted to ever since you were a child so yes I thoroughly enjoyed visiting that place I took a lot of pictures when I came back I showed it to my family and friends and everyone was very happy but a little jealous of me as well. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, that's good. We now move on to IELTS speaking part three. Uh, what are the most popular tourist attractions in your country? In my country, so my country is really famous for its culture, its history, its past and the deep roots it has in the subcontinental history. So we have a lot of uh, museums here that showcase all of that history, number one. We have a lot of mosques and temples that showcase the culture of our uh, subcontinent and at the same time our country is famous for food. So every other road you will find one of the best food places that you can experience. It's a great tourist attraction for foreigners and we are just so blessed that we're living right across these world famous food places. So I think to sum it all up, we have great cultural sites, we have great food places and we have excellent museums that showcase all of this together. How do the types of tourist attractions that younger people like to visit compare with those that older people like to visit? Right, so there's definitely a generation gap, especially after the internet has uh, taken place and things are definitely not the same. So I, I believe, and this is just my standpoint, that younger people like uh, visiting 
parks. Uh, younger people like visiting places which has recent history, uh, something that they can relate to and you know pop culture and anything that's related with music and the latest trends. So a place that can give them all of that is something that the younger generation would like. As for the older generation, I think they're very uh, soft at heart and they still want to you know sort of touch and experience the history that they were part of so they like going to museums a place that showcases all of the history uh, and the historical events that took place so I think that's a difference where I believe that younger generations would like to spend most of their times in tourist parks whereas the older generation would like to spend more time in museums and cultural sites that uh, do you agree that some tourist attractions like national museums or galleries should be free to visit um, in simple words yes I agree because our society and generation as a whole deserves to know what happened in their history and the fact that it may be highly priced for some individuals might remove access from a lot of people because not everyone can afford a ticket for a piece 200, 300 or whatever a price for a museum might be. So in my opinion, yes, it should be free. It's something that uh, belongs to everyone residing in that nation. So I feel like the opportunity to share your culture and your history should definitely have no price on it. All right. Why is tourism important to a country? Uh, I mean, from basic from uh, basic answer of this would be from an economic standpoint because you do need a lot of foreign revenue to sort of help maintain the country from an economics point of view. Other than that, since this is a global village now, and because of the internet, world travels like lightning speed. So any foreigner coming in, visiting your tourist sites would definitely give a positive review uh, out on the internet, and that just that's just good for you in a socio-economic way and definitely improves your reputation in the global village that we call today world. All right. Thank you very much. That's the end of your IELTS speaking test. All right. So you uh, must have uh, watched all the video, all the speaking. With this speaking, Shah Rose achieved band score. Nine actually, nine. right? And you can see the proof of that as well. We do have his TRF. So you can just see that also. So guys, thank you very much and Sharoz, thank you once again. Uh, you. I mean, Sharoz is basically a standard or I, I would say role model. If you okay. guys are targeting a high bench score, this is the sort of language and this is the method. This is how you have to answer all the questions. So please uh, just, just see, I mean, beyond the answers, you should see how he tackled the questions how he listened to the question and then how he continued with his answer because the way he spoke, he achieved nine band. So if you answer like him, you may get the same band as well, right? All the best guys. Thank you very much. And I also teach IELTS online. If you wish to join my online or on-campus IELTS classes, you can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub and Sharoz. We both wish you best of luck. Take care. Bye-bye.